Hey, you've spent a lot of time up there with the women, uh, natives, haven't you? You must be on good terms with them. Why do you want to know that? No, oh, whatever. But if you get on well with them, I have a very lucrative job for you. What would you say to 5,000 gold? Where's the catch? No catch. The business will be very profitable. And you get a share of it. So, you get on well with the natives now, do ya? I've become part of the family. Really? Interesting. Wait, I've got something for you. Ah, here I've got... Oh, you're up and around, I see, and hopefully feeling better. You see, I was somewhat worried about your condition. You were very poorly when you were brought to me. What the fuck happened to me? Oh, just a few days in my care and we're bound to find the answer. However, you must stay away from alcohol during this time. It would adulterate my diagnosis. Forget it. That's the thanks I get. Perhaps I can still help you, though. Tell me, what's the last thing you recall? I talked with one of the pirates. Hmm, forgive me, but you seem to be as much to blame for your troubles as they are. You more or less confirm my theory. It's detrimental to your health if you spend too much time with those scoundrels. Get to the point. You are impetuous. All right, then. All I know is that you asked for directions to the natives. Something I thought highly unusual, as I thought you'd been there before. I believe you should continue your search there. Gucho? Why are you here? I have already told you everything you need to know. I will not train you in the art of voodoo again. I'm trying to find my memories. So explain, slowly. I hardly understand a word of what you're saying. Hmm. Tell Tenya what happened. All I know is that I was on the beach, talking to a pirate. And what happened then, Gucho? I was being questioned, and then everything went dark. Chi, Tenya sees bad omens. Do you remember that I recently gave you some of our voodoo ingredients? No. Garaka, then it's just as I thought. We have both been tricked, Gucho. Someone tricked us both? How do you mean? Someone practiced voodoo on you. Terrible voodoo. You cannot remember because you were being controlled. What? Chi, it is as I say. Shouldn't you have noticed that I was under someone's control? Even Akiki's power has its limits, Gucho. I should have read the signs, but I failed. May the Hike forgive me. Why have I been chosen to do this? Because we trust you, Gucho. You are Hoshi of the Kila. You are the only outsider who is allowed to know our secrets. Voodoo can do bad things in the wrong hands. And how can I help? Tenya always likes to see Halima. Hear Tenya's words. Tell me when you go in search of the serpent. I'll give you a potion. Within it rests the power of oblivion. The person who now possesses our secrets must drink it. I'll make sure that the secrets of the Keeler remain secret. Chi, here is the potion, Gucho. 
Do not hold back from giving it to those who know our secrets. Where should I look for this person? Hmm. The Gucho who was pretending to be you spoke of an island. Many thunder sticks are said to be there. Thunder sticks? You mean muskets? Chi. Hmm. That sounds very much like the Inquisition. They have an outpost on Takarigua. May the Hike guide your steps, Hoshi. What are you doing here? You used voodoo on me. Rubbish. Me and voodoo? You don't fucking believe that, do ya? What did you do to me on Keeler? I didn't do anything to you. We were talking and suddenly you keeled over. You stole the knowledge of the Keeler using my physical form. Bollocks. As if I needed knowledge. I did nothing. Enough with the games. Otherwise you'll never play again. All right, all right. I admit it. I've obtained ingredients and recipes for creating voodoo dolls. The Keeler wouldn't give someone like me anything. It's not that I didn't try trading with them. I had no choice but to use someone who was on good terms with the Keeler. And that's where I came in. Well, yes. I had my eye on you. And you were the only person the Keeler accepted. I thought you were a pirate. Why are you helping the Inquisition? Gold, of course. Also, I am not a pirate. I can't believe you still haven't got the picture. What are you going to do with the ingredients anyway? What am I going to do with them? Nothing. But it's a very tempting prospect for the Inquisition. If I know Rockfort, voodoo dolls are right up his street. Dolls allowing you to control people? Armies of warriors to do your bidding? Sounds wonderful. I've heard enough. Let's have a drink. I always appreciate a swig. Wait, I know that smell. Forget it. I'm not drinking that stuff. You'll drink it, or I'll sedate you with something else. I'd like to see you try. You should think twice about killing me. Remember, I'm with the Inquisition, and they won't let you get away with it. Who else have you betrayed the secrets to? Nobody, apart from Rockfort. But as far as giving him the drink goes, you can forget it. The only person he'll get his drink from is Jose in the kitchen. If you offer him something, he's bound to get suspicious. I'll get Rockfort to drink the potion. Good luck with that. If you're not Jose, it won't work anyway, so save your strength. Hey, what are you doing here? Get out of my kitchen. My potatoes will burn if you keep distracting me. Oh, oh too late. So, what did you want? Was this Osorio's kitchen? That's right, it was. He was caught spitting in the Commandant's soup. He better not show his face around here anymore. Oh! What the hell was that about? Shut up, you fucking wimp. Was there... was there something in my hair? Yeah. Thanks.
Hey, Jose, where's my wine? I've been waiting ages. Oh, get it yourself. You take that tone in the kitchen, but don't take it with me. Otherwise, I'll have you flogged. Don't think I'll let you off the hook again. If it happens again, you'll be cleaning the boots of the whole company. And seeing as you're such a loudmouth, you can start with these right now. I have some wine for you here, Lieutenant. Ah, good. From now on, I shall expect more enthusiastic service. If there's one thing I can't abide, it's a lack of commitment to one's duties. Let's give this a taste. So, what was the wine like? It's not a recruit's place to ask his commanding officer about such things. Still, your commanding officer can tell you this. Bring me any more wine that tastes as bad as this, then I'll show you. I'm starting to feel slightly dizzy. How's it going with your memory, Lieutenant? Say, Jorge, why are you still chewing my ears off here? <laughs> my name's not Jorge, it's Jose, Lieutenant. Silence! Get back to your guard post! Actually, I work in the kitchen. Get lost before I lose my patience. You know too much. What's that supposed to mean? What are you up to? You'll never tell anyone anything ever again. As you wish. But my blade will seal your fate. Follow me. Nobody else has to watch me disembowel you. What's up? Right, we've arrived. I guess there's no escape now. This is the end for you. You asked for it. As for voodoo control, the secrets of the Keeler are safe. I managed to find the traitor. Good, Gucho. A great service to our people. Now you know how easily voodoo can be abused. Here, you have earned this key power. You have demonstrated that you use voodoo well. If you wish, I will instruct you in the art of life transfer. You have proven yourself, Hoshi of the Kila. You were cast into unknown situations and solved them. You faced the unknown with a keen mind, knowledge and courage. You are now ready to be accepted into the ranks of the true voodoo masters. Go to Hirutu. He will do the initiation. Tenya wishes you well, Hoshi. Mastered the power of voodoo control. Hirutu has heard, Kucho. Here, take this. It is a mark of your new rank. Hirutu never thought a Gucho could go so far. 
You have impressed me, Hoshi of Kila. But do not let it go to your head.